Hey, what's up, y'all? Stand back with another video, and today I got a stizzy here, and I'm gonna be doing a quick video on some tips, tricks to really get the most out of this, make it last, and yeah, let's get started. All right, so for the first one, I'm gonna teach y'all how to really hit it. So this is just a stizzy vape. You get a couple seconds to hit it before it turns into a blinker, and pretty much it is six seconds to like eight seconds, and you don't really want to do the blinkers because a lot of the times they're gonna be burnt on um, the battery or it's gonna just waste a lot of the oil. Now it might be like about the same if you're just doing little hits, but honestly, what I've learned is that when you're doing big hits on like a small vape like this, it really does kind of fuck up the device and just the pod that you're buying. So I would recommend doing small like two second hits when it comes to vapes like these. But of course, you could always, if you want to, hit the blinker, which is gonna be like a six second hit. And as you can see, there is a bunch of smoke. That was very big. Honestly, for a, a first time smoker or somebody that just got into it, that's a lot. So. Even for me, it really hits. Um, I think that you really want to kind of avoid those big hits, especially if you just want to chill out. As you can see, I'm about to like cough up along, and that's really what you don't really want. Sometimes it's fine to cough, but you don't really want to be dealing with like a super bad like coughing sesh. You know, you just want to be chilling. But honestly. Those are the two ways I'd say um, to really hit this vape. Um, when it comes to like other vapes, uh, you could also just do with that method, like the two second method. You don't really wanna be doing blinkers on nicotine vapes either. So my second tip is gonna be to drink water or stay hydrated. So I wouldn't recommend you just going to a smoke sesh, edible sesh, or really any sesh without drinking some water or having some kind of hydration because I feel like a lot of the times you get caught in mouth or the vape is gonna dry your mouth out, the smoke is gonna dry your mouth out, just the weed in general is gonna dry your mouth out. So it's always a good idea to really keep like water or um, yeah, just be prepared for that because it is discomforting, especially if you're in a place where, let's say you're like at a park or something, no water around or you don't really have that option. So make sure you stay hydrated, maybe keep a pack of gum, that's another tip as well. Third tip, I would say limit tolerance, especially when it comes to a stizzy I'd say that stizzies are very convenient and they're very strong. Um, they're quality products, especially when you're getting them from the actual dispensary. But I would argue that they are a little too convenient sometimes. You could just wake up, hit this, and you don't even have to light up any bud, nothing like that. You just go on with your day. And for a lot of people, that's super convenient. You ain't gotta do nothing else. But your tolerance, kind of the amount of times you're using it is really impacting how this device or just any real vape even weed to a point will make you feel and if you're really not able to manage how many times you use this throughout the day or even week um, I could see this being like a real issue maybe want to just stick to edibles or um, like actual bud so I'd recommend you really think about tolerance limiting yourself maybe uh, not doing this every day maybe to a specific time of night after work after school after your activities but yeah, I would just say, make sure you go into, um, like, if you're smoking or anything like that, vaping, with the idea that you want limits. Um, I know that's kind of like a buzzkill thing, but honestly, if you just go into it with that idea mindset, it's going to be all fun and games. It's not going to be, like, no kind of shame or anything like that. You just got to make sure that you understand that you have limits and you can't just be puffing on this stuff all day. So for the next tip, this one is for Stizzy specifically. Whenever you buy them, you kind of get this little box, right? And uh, you get the package, you open it up. But when you open the Stizzy, you're gonna get this rubber like tip. Don't throw it away. I'ma suggest that you keep it, right? For this pod or whichever uh, one you buy and you use it as a lid for when you're not using it. So my idea with this is that sometimes the Stizzy pods will leak and um, They'll leak like through the top. They never really leak through the bottom, but for some reason, like after heating it a couple times, like sometimes some of it will start to come out, which isn't cool at all. You pay for this shit is expensive. So my idea is if you're keeping this rubber shit, 
just keep it pop. And it's keeping that seal, that pressure in there. You don't really gotta deal with um, it getting messed up. And also it just provides a protection for that mouthpiece. You could also put it on the bottom to cover up that light or like um, just for like protection or something. But honestly, this is just a quick little uh, tip I suggest. Um, you could just throw it away too. It's not really that big of a deal. But. All right, so that's all the tips. And I hope that all y'all enjoyed that and got some bit of information that was helpful for you and your journey. So uh, thank y'all for checking this video out. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. I'm out of here. Peace.